Okay, welcome. I'm Melanie Hamburger I'm with Community Grant Writers. We do a number of free training programs about fundraising success. We're glad you're here. So um, the next thing I wanted to show you is Google Sheets. Google Sheets works just like Excel. You've probably heard of Microsoft Excel. It, um, if you're in fundraising, you absolutely must know how to use Excel at some level. Fundraising is all about dollars and Excel is all about numbers. So they really go hand in hand. And I'm surprised at how many people don't have familiarity with Excel. So it's super easy to learn about. Google has lots of free trainings because what they call it sheets in their language, but it works exactly like Excel. And you can export a Google sheet in an Excel format. So it's very, very easy. Um, and they, you can, you know, use YouTube videos. There are lots of ways to learn how to use Excel. You can just open it up and start playing around with it, but it's very handy for adding things, for sorting things. And we really, um, use it constantly in fundraising work. So, and we even use it for things like timesheets. So maybe you have volunteers, um, you know, with, with interns that are working with community grant writers. I don't have a fancy payroll system. I mean, we're a very bootstrapping operation. So I just, I create a timesheet where they can, there's a date and I can have a formula that progresses the date by one day. So it'll be, you know, October 20th. And then the next line will be October 21st and it'll automatically populate in those dates. And I can give people, you know, a drop down menu to show um, which client they were working on. So there's just all sorts of fun things that you can do in um, Excel. This is a fantastic spreadsheet to track your grants, the status of your grants. It is, it can be, oh, get overwhelming very quickly. When you're doing proposals, you need to be very mindful of deadlines. It is inexcusable for a fundraiser to miss a, a grant deadline. So you always want to be, you know, mindful of what's coming up, planning for it. And this spreadsheet allows you to do it in a couple of ways. For example, where you see those little triangles at the top, Anjali, you want to click on one of those? This is a funder that we recommended or that the client recommended, or it's just a renewal grant. You could just as easily put in people's names. Like you could have Mary, Joe, and Bob and flag which one of them is responsible for this proposal. Um, so you can define these fields. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to define them in just a minute. So this gives you the option of pulling up one or another. In fact, if you go to current status, Anjali, we can show exactly how this works. So can you sort A to Z? Okay, so this gives us now I prioritize them and I prioritize them with numbers specifically so they'll sort like this. Um, so say I want to say what are the proposals in process or what am I queuing up to work on next, this gives me a very clear hierarchy. And then, um, for example, Anjali, you want to click on that drop down menu again and say, uh, say, clear all of those and let's just pick. Um, let's just pick one, anyone, your choice. So now it'll only show me the proposals that are in process. So this is, these are all features of regular sheets or Excel, um, even though Google doesn't call it that, we all sort of know it as that. And it's just super handy to take a lot of information and allow you to prioritize what you need, really need to work on. Uh, and then there are other fields like, um, you wanna do select all Anjali so that they all show up up top, select all, there you go. Perfect. And then you can see there are deadlines that you can put in. There are amounts. So maybe I want to sort by what is the largest uh, grant that we're applying for. I could sort Z to A. That would give me that information. Of course, it's going to um, alphabetize by number. So if I don't have it, if I haven't entered the numbers consistently, you'll see some weird things like we're seeing in the top lines. But that's nice because now I see there's a um, there's a $100,000 grant. Well, heck, I'm going to prioritize that one because I want to get that one out the door. So these are just all different ways you can do it. And if you get something that you don't, you didn't mean to do, you can always click um, Control Z to undo it or go up to the menu and, re and um, click the option that you wanted. So even though we work, use them all the time, I, sometimes I'm like, oh, that's not what I expected to see. Control Z is a wonderful thing. Uh, and then next steps, notes, like there's a link to a Google Docs and that has all of the research on the funder. We don't need to pull that up right now, but you can put those in there. Um, it tells us what client we're working on. So say I'm on a meeting with a client and I just wanna show their 
um, proposals. Obviously, I don't want them to see proposals for other clients that we're working with. I would just do this. And then I would see, you know, the proposals just for a particular client. So these are all the kinds of things that you can do. Or maybe Anjali and I are talking about two clients who are similar and we want to see those two. And you see she just did that, right? So, and then the most recent activity I've got formatted to show just month and year, but it's actually a date that's in there. If you click, can you click on one of those fields? Yeah. And you can see in the upper left, um, it, you can see the date of 822. Um, 2022. Oh yeah, and you can see it right there also. Um, so that also tells us like what were we working on most recently. I can sort by the date, and it'll actually put in a specific date, not just a month. Um, but it's just displaying the month because we really don't need to know the day that we were working on it. That's just for um, just to have an idea. So like, okay, what do we work on this month, for example? And there you go. Okay, there's the Capital Partners Foundation. So this is one example of what you can do with um, spreadsheets. There are so many other examples. Again, we're not going to get into them in detail, but we're going to... Um, we're always happy to work on a small project to set up some of these templates. We've worked with uh, nonprofits and their fundraising just for a month to help them get some key things to help them do funder research or get some key tools in place. Um, and those are the things that we can do and customize them to your work. Uh, and um, it's a very, very useful tool that you can use ongoing to prioritize your fundraising efforts. Mm -hmm.